Well, Trevor Casey, uh, obviously it's been quite a busy campaign for Lazarus. Firstly, how are you feeling following uh, the wash-up of last weekend's race in Aussie? Oh, he um, was under a bit of a cloud going into the race and uh, he still performed very, very well. And um, I'm sure Mark will get him right for the big race this coming week. You seem very relaxed, Trevor, and, and you always seem to feel uh, look that way or at least appear that way before a big race, but does it still get to you? Look, the pressure really gets to you when he's really hot favourite and everybody expects him to win. Um, horses always get beaten, and I'm philosophical. Um, he's always going to get beaten at some stage. He got beat this week, but he'll bounce back. Phil Kennard, um, talking to Trevor about the pressure... Um, with the horse racing. Is it different in Australia? Do you feel like a bit of an outsider or are they kind of nice to your face and it's a different story behind your back? Oh no, I think we're, we've been made very welcome in Aussie. We're very lucky with the way we get treated. Uh, um, but then they love the horse, so uh, you know that makes it a lot easier. So uh, he's been you know, really well received and we always get pretty well treated. And uh, in fact, after the Hunter Cup, I don't think we actually left the winner's room and they were more than happy to stay there. So we know how to um, uh, you know, celebrate our uh, wins just as we do the uh, losses. And as Trevor said, they happen and we just accept them. Have you heard any update as to how Lazarus has come through the race? Uh, well, Mark was uh, happy with him on Sunday morning, and he's quoted uh, that that he went out and picked a bit of grass and kicked his heels and had a bit of a squeal. So that's a good sign. So hopefully we're on the right side of it. I mean, I mean, Mark will know now because he uh, fast worked him this morning. Um, we haven't heard yet, but we will hear later in the day, hopefully, as to how he is. And just fingers crossed, he picked up. Uh, um, or has picked up because it's, he's going to need to be at 110% really dealing with that uh, um, 10 on the side of his uh, saddlecloth. But Lazarus doesn't know what number he's got, so he'll be fine. Does it still blow you away, the, the reception the horse gets? Uh, it's, um, yeah, it is. It's humbling, I think, really, you know, because it's, uh, you know, like as an industry, we need a mainstream player and the ability to get on the mainstream, and Lazarus might be that, that, that horse, you know, and if uh, whatever he does that gets us on TV1 or TV3, um, you know, as an ownership uh, group, we all just support because the industry desperately needs it. We've got to broaden our base, and, you know, like having spent a week at the sales last week and just watched how shallow the buyer base is, and it's a real industry worry, you know, if you're sitting there as a breeder and looking really weird the top probably you know you can go through that uh, the sales results last week and look at how skinny that buyer base is um, it's a it's a real concern so whatever we can do to attract the interest and you know like um, both businesses of my interest come about TV, you know horses like uh, Noodlems and I always talk about Royal Ascot and you know the Royden Glens and all those great horses gone by they hooked us in so let's hope uh, there's some kids out there that are 8, 9, 10 through to the teens that get hooked in because of a horse like Lazarus. I hope you don't mind me asking, Phil, but you talk about breeding and the yearling sales. How many stud farms are knocking on your door at the moment? Is there a bit of pressure around that? Oh, we've just pushed everything away because we're there to race this horse this year and all of us committed that we'd get through to the um, after the Miracle Mile and we'd sit down and have a chat with Mark and the vet and decide from there. And that's what we'll do. So, yeah, so that's and we're, just, we're sticking with that. I'm sure it'll be hot property anyway. Uh, Glenis, you've been involved with some remarkable horses in the past, um, the likes of Smolder, the, the war horse. Do you still have to pinch yourself? Do you still get anxious? Oh, I think you're always anxious anxious when you race good horses because you always have that um, pressure and that expectation that you want them to do well for the general public that are following them and, and uh, are there to watch great horses race as we are to um, be a part of that in their ownership. But, um, yeah, to say, oh, I think nerves are always there. Sometimes they're probably a bit more to the forefront than other times, but nerves are good. That means you're really excited about what's happening in front of you, so that's great. Um, how do you cope on race day? Is there any ritual that you guys have on race day? Where will you be watching the race? Uh, no, no real rituals. Um, just making sure we can be somewhere that we can view what's happening on the track and, um, yeah, just really enjoying the moment, I think. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure. A few weeks ago, Lazarus couldn't lose the race and now things have been turned on its head. How amazing and important will it be should he win the Miracle Mile? Um, oh, well, it would be absolutely incredible because I don't think there's been a horse before him if he was to win, and there is still a question mark over there, obviously, but um, he's still got to do it. Um, but if he was to win, he'd be the first to have won the four big races on the calendar ever, so that would be pretty huge and, and a great stat to have on his resume. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, yeah, fabulous. 
And to anyone listening, Glenis, that's contemplating getting into ownership, maybe they have no idea how to do it or it's a bit daunting, what words of advice can you give them? I'd just say get involved. You know, it's it's good fun and um, you know, depending how you go about it, there's not a lot of huge costs. If you're particularly with a number of people, you can spread that load and um, you still get 100% of the fun.